Hello and welcome to the very first video of the JUnit tutorial series. So in this tutorial series, we will be learning JUnit. We will be seeing what is JUnit and what are the other uh, components of the JUnit and we will uh, try to learn JUnit uh, completely. So it is a crash course type of course. So let's uh, get started. So in our very first video, we will be seeing uh, introduction to the JUnit, uh, what is JUnit and why it is important, why to use JUnit. Okay, so let's let's get started. Uh, JUnit is a unit testing framework for Java uh, and the current version of the JUnit is JUnit 5 which is the latest version and this the framework is used by the Java developers to write and execute the test code, test cases okay so there are different types of test cases okay so the JUnit is specifically used for the unit testing refers to the testing which is which refers to the testing of small chunks of codes okay so the uh, so it is it is basically done by the developer itself so very small chunk of code is used and uh, and the test cases are written for that code and the java developer will execute those test cases right so it helps in early identification of the defects okay so as i said you uh, the unit testing is done on the very small chunk of the code so uh, you can uh, do unit testing on that small chunk of the code and you can if, if there is if there is any defect in the code you can get and rectify that uh, error there itself early identification of the error is done uh, using JUnit okay so every time a new code is added all the test cases have to be re-executed okay so uh, in JUnit uh, uh, you are performing the test on the small chunk of code okay so every time you added a new piece of code you have to execute all the test cases again okay so it is an open source testing framework for java programmers the java programmer can create the test cases and test his or her own code okay so as i told you unit testing is done by the developer itself because it is done on the very small chunk of code uh, which is written by the developer itself okay so let's go and ahead uh, let's go ahead and see what are the types of unit testing okay so there are mainly two types of unit testing one is manual testing and one is automated testing okay so what is man manual testing if you execute the test cases manually without any tool support it is known as the manual testing okay it is time consuming and less reliable okay so uh, assume uh, manual testing as if you have written a small chunk of code and you have developed your own test cases uh, let's suppose 5 to 10 10 uh, test cases and you are uh, uh, testing those test cases manually by yourself okay so it would take a, a much amount of time and it is uh, less reliable also because you have to do uh, everything you have to write the code you have to write the test cases and you have to test those test cases right and the second comes automated testings if you execute the test test cases by a tool support it is known as a automated testing which is fast and more reliable Okay, so uh, there are uh, certain um, tool, um, uh, tool available in the market which you can use to do this unit testing. We will see in our upcoming videos uh, how we can do the automated testing and manual testing as well. Okay, so the developers are tend to spend more time on reading the code. Okay, so the unit testing means you are performing the testing on a small chunk of code. That means the developer have to spend more and more time reading and uh, improving that small amount of code. Okay, the success, successful code increases the confidence of the developer. Okay, so and it is more reliable and readable code is written by the developers. Okay, so if there are no errors in the code and the dev then the developer are tend to write the more readable and uh, should a more readable code which which can be easily understanded understand by the other developers as well okay so this is the introduction about the JUnit uh, I hope you got the idea uh, some basic idea what is JUnit so in our upcoming videos or the next video we will be seeing uh, how to install the JUnit in our PC and thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one